Welcome to High Tech Low Life, and today I've got something very special for you. It's an unboxing, yes, but it is a different kind of product. One that's not a keyboard, one that's not a mouse, one that's not custom made. Heck, it doesn't even have to do with gaming, uh, technically, that is. So this is the Asus or Asus Zen Wi-Fi AX XT8 kind of a mouthful, isn't it? Basically, the X-T8 is a mesh router system. It's got two nodes. One such a unit would plug in directly to your modem, and so there's not a whole lot of flexibility as to where you can put this first one. However, the second one can be put basically anywhere in the house so long as it receives signal from the other one. Or, if you're fancy like me and have your ethernet wired throughout your house, you can just plug it in directly and then have Ethernet backhaul, which makes it way better. The unboxing experience is quite simple, really. In front of you are the two units displayed, and they're a lot smaller than you would imagine, but these things pack a punch. Each unit features four Ethernet jacks, one for the WAN and three for other LAN devices you want to connect to it. It also features a USB port in case you want to plug a hard drive to it. And it features a power switch as well. Neat. The box looks quite nice and the devices look really nice too, especially in this gunmetal color. I wish they had a pure black color, but I mean, I guess not everything has a black color, huh? So under all of this are the two power cables and one, only one? one Ethernet cable, and it also comes with VIP warranty service. I'm not going to go over that because it's mine. Now for the fun part. This is my network closet. It has a whole server and also has a switch, and it also features this meh Verizon router here. You know, it's actually kind of difficult doing this with one hand, but replacing your router is as easy as plugging things in the way they're meant to be plugged in. See that? Genius. And you see this power cable? It goes in like that. And so the trick is you also have to flip the power switch right there. And there. It turns on. See that? Beautiful. So that goes in that little crevice. Tucked in away from everything else. Setting up the router is really simple. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the screen. I'm not going to bother showing you guys every detail because why would I, right? This router features a bunch of features that I would consider basic and essential for the average user, such as the ability to set your SSID, the ability to separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz speeds, you have the ability to set IP addresses per device, and you can either set it through the router or set it through the devices themselves. The router supports both. It also has quite a few features that I would consider to be advanced. You have the ability to set up a guest network. You have the ability to set up quality of service. You have the ability to plug in a USB flash drive or a USB hard drive and use that to play movie files from anywhere in your house. You know, kind of like a Plex server, but like not really. And then you have the ability to control it using Alexa or if this, then that. And you also have the ability to set up a VPN network wide entirely. You have firewall based, I don't know. There's a lot here that I personally haven't really had the time to explore. There's also a curious feature called the Download Master. And the Download Master is basically a torrent client built in to this router. Now, personally, I have my own Deluge server, so I don't really need it, but this could be useful for you. Very useful. What makes a good router though? Is it how fast it is? Well, partially, yeah, you do need speeds to, you know, navigate the internet faster, watch movies, watch Netflix, all that good stuff. 
But the truth is that the measure of a good router isn't just the speeds, but rather the stability of the connection. And as of testing this right now, the connection has been nothing but rock steady. Personally, I've had little downtime on this router. There's very little instability with this router, if any. And I've been using it wired through my desktop that I'm editing this video on right now. I've been using my phone, which, yeah, is connected wirelessly. Oh yeah, by the way, this router supports Wi-Fi 6. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 device, congratulations. You made it to the future. However, do be wary, though, that if you want to apply any settings, there will be some sort of downtime for like a few seconds. So before you apply any settings, be sure no one's doing anything important on the internet before you apply those settings. That said, if you're not a super advanced user, then by all means, get this router. It's great. In the meantime, though, why don't you go ahead and check out our podcast. The podcast stars five, sometimes four, of the most electrifying podcast crewmates on the internet. And check out our Discord server while you're at it, too, because that's where we hang, and that's where we communicate with our fans. And actually, no, y'all aren't fans. Y'all are friends, right? So why don't you go ahead and check it out, and maybe you can be friends with us.